Welcome. Today, we'll have a look at how to create Excel formulas in a super easy way using ChatGPT. Thanks to artificial intelligence, we can make use of Excel functions even more effectively. Let's get started. Hello, and welcome to EasyClick Academy. My name's Frank, and together with our EasyClick team, we're here to make sure you'll be able to use Excel in a quick and easy way, thanks to our digestible video tutorials. Every day we create and use various formulas when working with Excel. We're familiar with some of them. Others, <laughs> we must learn on the go. Artificial intelligence has come up with a new, revolutionary way to generate an Excel formula in a super easy way. The formula you need but might not be familiar with yet can be generated based on your description of what you need to do in a spreadsheet. You can use your own words and there's no need to speak excellent English at all. Let's have a look at some specific examples which will show us how we can use this amazing tool. AI-aided formula editor, which uses ChatGPT. It's important to note that even though this tool is not free, you can install it and try it out for free. First, we'll start with how this tool works and at the end of the tutorial, we'll go through how to add this powerful AI tool to your screen. But let's do all this step by step to see how you can make the best use of it. To begin, let's make sure that the pane on the right shows only what we need which means we'll hide the cell formula bit by clicking on it, and we'll leave the AI generator part on. We're going to deal with generating formulas now, and we'll have a closer look at other elements of this tool later in separate video tutorials. Everything's ready now. We can start. Let's say we need to find out the sum of the values in the range of cells C3 to C7. First, Type in your own words what we need to do here. In the field, describe your formula. For example, we can type sum of cells C3 to C7. Then we hit submit, and in a couple of seconds, the AI responds in the field below with the right formula, containing the correct range of cells we want to add up. Now we can click on the target cell, the cell where we want to display the result, which in our case is C8. We use this arrow to copy the formula into the selected cell conveniently. Click on this button, and here we go. The formula's been immediately copied there, and the cell shows the result right away. And let's move on. We fill the second column, column D, with data, and here, we'll be looking for the average of these numbers. We delete the original request and type the description of a new task. For example, we can type in average of cells D3 to D7. We press submit, and the generated formula, which will do the work we want it to do, appears below again. And again, we click on the target cell, in this case it's D8, we press the arrow button, and that'll copy the formula into the cell. And here's the result. The average of the cells D3 to D7 is 3. However, we must be aware that one cannot rely on AI completely. It may not always generate the right formula. That's why it's important to learn how to use this tool, how to be precise when writing the description of a request and basically to always use common sense to check the tool. It's also important to keep in mind that AI is learning. So if you're happy with the generated formula, make sure to hit the like button. If AI did not generate the right formula, press the dislike button. Your feedback improves AI responses. So in fact, it's being taught to come up with better and better results. Now, let's fill in the next column and let's put in the description that we want to find out the maximum value in column E. We type in how to find the maximum value in cells E3 to E7. Press submit and copy the formula using the arrow button again. Here we go. 
the maximum value in column E is 5. But let's try something more complicated. We can fill column F with data and we can try to find out whether there is a number 1 among these values. And we want the result as the answer yes or no. And this is how we can describe this request. Write, if the number 1 is in cells F3 to F7, write yes. Otherwise, write no. Again, we hit submit and voila! AI has immediately generated the right formula. We can see that this one is a bit more complicated than the ones before. So, copy the formula in the target cell and we can check whether it works correctly. We can see that the result is yes because there is a number one in the cell F3. If we rewrite the data and change it to, let's say, number seven, the text in the cell F8 changes to no because there's no number one in column F now. But let's rewrite the number four in the cell F6 and put the value one instead. And the result changes back to yes again. What's great about this AI tool is that you don't need to be familiar with all kinds of Excel formulas, but you've got them all at hand just by being able to describe in a couple of words what's the result you need. Well, let's have a look at the last example and then if you like the tool, we can go step by step through how to add it in your Excel immediately, for free and without complicated integration. So. Back to the example. Here we want to find out how many values in column G are greater than, for instance, three. We can put in how many values in cell G3 to G7 are greater than three for description. We press submit again and here's our formula. We copy it in the target cell and we can see that there are two values greater than three in this column. This is how AI can help you at work while using Excel. You can generate even more complicated formulas just by saying in a simple way what you need. If you like this tool that uses ChatGPT, we're going to have a look at how you can add it to your Excel now. Let me start with the information that there's a monthly subscription if you want to use this tool. However, you can start using it for free. The trial basic plan is limited to a maximum of eight AI requests per week. And now you can have a look at how to install it. First, go to the Insert tab and select the option Get Add-ins. Then use the search field to find AI-aided Formula Editor. Press the Add button, read and confirm terms and conditions, and click on Continue you'll see the tool pane here on the right, and you'll see a new tab appear at the top through which you can open the editor anytime. A good thing is the tool does not require any complicated integration. You don't need to have a ChatGPT account, there's no need for API keys or anything like that. A simple registration is sufficient here. You just enter your email, create a password, and that's all it takes. A verification email is sent to your address and you can sign up and start using the tool right away. My account's been set up, so I'll just sign in and I can see everything we worked with just a while ago. If you don't need to work with the editor right now, you can close it by clicking on the X here in the upper right corner of the pane. And to call this great AI helper back on the screen under the tab AI Aided Formula Editor. Click on this button. So, do you feel like giving it all a try? Leave us a note in the comments section below. We'll be excited to hear from you. And if you'd like to know more of this tool, for example, how to understand the formulas you generated through the formula editor, check out another video tutorial by EasyClick Academy. If you found this tutorial helpful, give us a like and watch another video tutorial by EasyClick Academy. Learn how to use Excel in a quick and easy way. Is this your first time on EasyClick? We'll be more than happy to welcome you in our online community. Hit that subscribe button and join the EasyClickers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.